Good morning, boys and girls. Gosh, I am so lucky to be doing the children's conversation and Sunday school this week. I mean, I really, really am lucky. Guess what? This week is all about you, all right? I mean, really, it is all about you. We are having the Advent Festival this afternoon from 2.30 to 4.30 at Church in the Social Hall. Now, the Advent Festival has been going on for over 50 years, and it's so much fun. You make crafts, and normally we have a chili cook-off and, and desserts, and it's just really great. Well, this year, of course, is different. We couldn't have it at all last year. So this year, we will be in the social hall, and we'll be doing crafts and have a cookie and candy cane afterwards. And it's for third graders, three preschoolers, and we just so much want you to come and join us. At the end of the, at the festival, we're going to have a small pageant for the children. So your parents or grandparents can come and watch you be stars. So this is why I'm really, really excited. But if you come to church this week, come straight downstairs to Sunday school. And I will be there and we'll be reading the story and learning all about the birth of Jesus. Now. Sunday school starts at 10.15. The Advent Festival starts at 2.30. I can't wait to see you. Now, we're going to be talking about the Christmas story. But there's some things that you need to know about in the first place. It starts off with, and there was a decree from Augustus. Well, a decree is an order, and that's something that you cannot change. And Augustus was the ruler of the Romans, and he was the enemy for all the Israelites. And so that's important to realize when you're listening to this story. And they, the Israelites prayed and prayed and prayed to have a warrior king born that could defeat Augustus. And so every night, this is what their prayer was. And we need to kind of know this before we have this story. So here's the story. Jesus is born. When we go to Bethlehem, uh, Joseph told Mary, Emperor Augustus has ordered that all the people need to be counted. But Joseph, Mary said, what about her baby? He'll, he will be born soon. We'll go slowly, Mary. Bethlehem will be crowded, so we need to leave now. So Mary and Joseph journeyed to Bethlehem, the city of David, to be counted along with all the other people. And Mary was very, very pregnant and rode on a donkey, which does not sound like much fun to me. It was cold when they arrived, and Joseph knocked on many, many doors looking for a room. But everyone said they were full. Finally, an innkeeper answered his door. I have no room, the innkeeper said, but you can stay in the little stable in the back. It's warm and the hay is fresh. Joseph, Mary said, I think it's time for the baby to be born. That night, Mary gave birth to Jesus. She laid him in a manger, and the animals kept him warm as they waited for morning. Outside of Bethlehem, shepherds watched their sheep on the hills. Suddenly, an angel appeared, and the shepherds looked up at the night sky. Don't be afraid, the angel said. I bring you wonderful news. The child God promised was born tonight. The shepherds listened in amazement. The twinkling stars seemed to echo each of the angel's words. The angel continued, Go to Bethlehem. You will find that the child lying in the manger of hay. Suddenly, many angels filled the heavens. They sang together, Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth. Let's hurry, the shepherd said. The angel said the child was born tonight. But what about the sheep? Another shepherd said, let the angels keep watch over them, the youngest shepherd said. Yes, the angels will watch them. The shepherds happily hurried into Bethlehem. The angel was right. The shepherd found the baby Jesus asleep in the hay, on a bed of hay. They told Mary and Joseph all the angel had said. The angel said, the baby is the Messiah, the promised one. He's the one we have uh, waited for, they said. But this is a stable. 
Would God be born among the animals? Moo, said the cow. Ba, said the sheep. Coo, said the dove. Mary smiled. She knew that Jesus was Emmanuel, God with us. Later, the shepherds returned to their sheep, praising God for all that they had seen and heard. Jesus was born. Pretty amazing story, isn't it? And he was born in a very simple place. This person who was going to be the son of God. It was an amazing thing for people to believe. Now, let's just pretend that somebody showed up at your house. And, oh, let's say they were from Mars. And they had never seen Christmas lights. They'd never seen a Christmas tree. They didn't know the story of Jesus. They didn't know anything about this. How would you explain the Christmas story to somebody that had no idea what it was? Maybe you and your parents can talk about this and figure out what would be important for them to know. So this week, I want you to think about the reason why we have Christmas and the birth of Jesus and know that we can't wait to see you Sunday at 1015 or at the Advent Festival at 2.30. Please come and have a fun day just for you kids. And let's end with a prayer. And this is a prayer that you will have some, say something at the end. So today we're going to have a whisper prayer in honor of baby Jesus who might be sleeping. After each part of the prayer, you say, shh. Let's pray. God, your people wanted the return of a big, strong warrior king, and they clamored for one. Shh. You saw what was happening and stuck, snuck in another answer. Shh. Not a king, not a warrior ready to do battle, but a baby. Shh. What will it mean? Shh. Amen. See you all Sunday, and I can't wait to be with you. Merry Christmas.